Hello, the internets. <clears throat> uh, I thought today I would just do a quick uh, comparison of the load times between the old classical Game Doctor SF7, the SNES, the backup unit, uh, compared to uh, Retro USB's uh, SNES Power Pack, which actually loads games from a compact flash card. But uh, more about that in a second. So, the SF7 is a device from around. Well, between 92 and 94, I guess, soon after the SNES came out. So so this technology is quite um, archaic, really. And as you can see here, it uses a par parallel port cable, uh, <laughs> severely hacked by me, uh, to my uh, modern PC, um, interfaced to... Uh, well, this is Newcon 64, a little piece of software I wrote. But this thing just uh, is, a, is a wrapper for Yukon 64. It's a Unix and Windows tool for converting, verifying, and uploading uh, game ROMs to backup units like this. So, just going to turn the SNES on. The game docs are running. This uh, is running in link mode. And we're just going to do a quick load of what shall we load? Zelda. Um, now I'll, I'm going to use my wristwatch to try to time this thing at the same time as I'm showing it to you. Uh, here we go. Alright, so this is displaying a total of course, but on the SF7 the memory is divided in 8 megabit chunks as you can see, so it's sort of tugging along. And there it goes, and that's poor timing, but my watch says 15 seconds, this is 14 seconds in total, so that's pretty good. And uh, let's just verify that the game's, game runs. Well, there we go. Uh, now this ROM wasn't very big, so it wasn't a really good test at 15 seconds. but. There you go. Now, let's eject this and go to the retro, uh, sorry, power pack. Um, now, I tried two CF cards before I got this working. The first one was a uh, Kingston 1 gigabyte memory quite, uh, card, quite old. Uh, this did not work at all. Well, um, uh, the FPGA in this could uh, read the file system, FAT32 and FAT16, uh, uh, with DMA enabled and disabled, uh, but it could not uh, successfully load the ROMs. I don't know why. This includes the um, little test puzzle game that comes with uh, the zip file that you put on this thing. Uh, I also tried this uh, no-name card from uh, mymemory.com which I've used for a number of years in my old um, iRiver IHP120, which I ran Rockbox on. Anyway, uh, the developer of this suggested I use a Dane Alec card, uh, which in the UK is branded as Expansis. So uh, let's give it a try. Now, this, this is loaded with the... Uh, power pack zip file from RetroUSB.com uh, as well as uh, a few ROMs which I <coughs> of course uh, privately own purchased fucking 15 years ago but who gives a shit right? okay so let's load it up this is the uh, boot screen for the thing you get a quite a nice little menu now which game did we run Zelda right Let's see if we can find it. Shit. Oh, there we go. Now let's see how long it takes to load. Um, now. There we go. Now this is with DMA enabled, so you know, enabled. Anyway, I find that quite impressive. It's very good. So, uh, well done, RetroUSB.com, and thank you for a very interesting uh, new product to play with. 
not only for old school gaming, but some development perhaps.